Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. So I'm just gonna do uh, another blue and white. Kind of haven't got the perfect one yet, so I'm gonna try again. This is my third try <laughs> on the, uh, it's, a, it's a pour. It's a dirty cut pour. And the only three colors I'm using is Basics, Phthalo Blue, and Artist Love Turquoise, and uh, Titanium White. Uh, the mix I'm using today is the same mix. It's a, a pouring medium, 12 ounces of glue, four ounces of GAC, three ounces of Floetrol, and then I had a little left over of another pouring medium that had a little bit of Liquitex um, pouring medium in it. So there's some of that thrown into this mix, and I don't know the exact m how much I put. It was like this much on the bottom of the cup. Um, so I'm using the Spot On Treadmill Belt Lubricant, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that in here now. Let's see how many drops. I'm gonna go for three drops in each of the blues, and that's it. Now I am gonna stir this thoroughly because I don't want caterpillars or anything like that. Even though for the poor, I don't usually get caterpillars. But no use in taking a chance. Okay, so this is a 10 by 20 canvas and it's just a regular, uh, regular canvas, no gallery wrapped. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my cups. I got this cool, uh, it's like a measuring cup thing, and it has a cap. How neat is that? See, I can show you guys that. So you can pre-mix a color, have it in there, and cap it off, and uh, it stays good for quite a while. And if you ever wanna do a pour out of it, then it's got that nice spout really nice spout. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these two cups. They're both nine ounce cups and get started. And I can show you the thickness is it leaves a trace and then disappears. So it's not, it's not really thick like my last couple of pours have been really thick. But plenty thick enough to still layer. I'm just gonna go for a small amount of the turquoise right now. I got this cup on Amazon. I was looking for, uh, I put in something, a measuring cup with spout was the key word, and it came up if you're looking for one. I'm hoping for some negative space on this. 
So making the white quite thick. It's going to be a quick one. Okay, here we go. Alright, so there's no paint right here.
little bit left here, I'm going to put here in this section. Wow. That's different, huh? The cells are great. I gotta look about it though. Very different. Let me flip it around and look at it this way. I'm just gonna mess with my corners a little bit, but this is pretty much done. Love the cells. I love doing blue and whites like this. I really do. It's like the colors, you never have to worry about them mixing. At all.
they mix, they just get to a lighter blue. That's what I love about blues. Cool. I like it. I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to give you guys a close up. Okay, here it is. Check it out. Look at those pretty cells. here cell mania really nice ones though and then a bit of a negative area with little bitty little cell in it but not much which is cool Kind of looks like an octopus arm, doesn't it? We've got some cells that fell over the edge there. What do you guys think? It's just a fun quickie. I like it. I like it a lot. Really pretty cells. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll show this to you in the morning when it starts to dry and I'll let you know how it's coming along. Ooh, that group is really nice right there. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, hi everyone. So it's the next day. It's in the afternoon. This thing's drying beautifully. I love how the cells are only in the blue parts. Look at that line of beautiful cells. I think the cell shape might have something to do with the GAC, but I'm gonna try a little experiment to see if I can get the same cells without GAC. As you can see, the edges are already drying. <laughs> I can tell, I don't know if you can tell. But uh, really neat, really neat. It almost looks like dragon scales, doesn't it? Really neat. I like this one. It's such an easy, quick one too. Yay! I am thrilled with it. If you guys like this and you want to see more, you can subscribe or share with a friend or like my video. And thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy pouring!